And tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from a professor who was teaching his students when the gunman came into his classroom and opened fire. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney begins our Team 7 coverage with his harrowing story and the message he wants to share with you. Professor Marco Diaz Munoz has been teaching here at Michigan State since 2008, and a lot of those classes took place right here in Berkey Hall. He says he never imagined what unfolded Monday night would be his reality. He just showed up and it started shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. Just under 72 hours after witnessing the worst. And it seems like it's a movie happening, a horror movie. And then it becomes more real as I see the blood and there was so much blood all over the, the, the floor. I have never as scented the scent of blood and it was everywhere. Professor Marco Diaz Munoz is telling his story as he and his students sat in classroom 114 in Berkey Hall. They had no idea a gunman would barge in and change the course of their lives. So this person showed up at that far end of my classroom covered up completely so you couldn't see who the person was, which made it even more ominous, more inhuman, more like not human. The professor says the gunman let off three shots before he opened fire on the students in the classroom, killing Ariel Anderson, Alex Werner, and injuring multiple others. It's a horror story he's now retelling in hopes of making change. This evil that happened there wasn't just the evil of that man sitting and killing people is the evil of not doing anything while you have the power to change it in Congress. So is it's is the result of all these things. And I, if anything, I want to shame Congress into doing something about it. Diaz Munoz says there needs to be background checks, proper funding for mental health and assault rifles should be outright banned because he says no other families should have to endure this. Well, my students are people I want, I see like you know, I'm their mentor. They are my students, and in many ways, they are kind of like my kids. And I, um, I want them. I want to see them thrive. In East Lansing, Whitney Burney, Seven Action News. Thank you, Whitney, for that story there.